Station House Officer Bushra Aziz goes out on the beat in Lahore. Tonight, she oversees the tight security at this Sufi shrine, which has been a target for militants. She's one of only a handful of women to make it so high up in Pakistan's police force and hopes she's setting an example. We should not be girly, but should walk shoulder to shoulder with men. If we keep thinking of ourselves as women, we will never be able to work. It's not difficult. It's just a matter of courage. Only around 2% of public sector jobs are held by women, the majority in health and education. And at this girls' college in Islamabad, it's clear aspirations are shaped early. I guess there are only two uh, professionals in which the girls are given respect. I guess there is uh, first the doctors and second is the teachers. All other professions are difficult for the women because they are, uh, these professions are only meant for men. And those, uh, those professions have least resources for the women of Pakistan. Matira Mohammed is breaking taboos in her own way. The TV and radio star is hugely controversial for her relatively risque manner and the way she dresses in this conservative Muslim country. God created women to make this world beautiful. So you should look beautiful every day. You should do everything that makes you beautiful. And you should try to make the world beautiful. That's it. Don't listen to anyone. If you want to wear it, wear it. Life only comes once. But it's not that easy for many women in Pakistan, often forbidden to work by their families. Transport is also an issue, with few spaces for female passengers on buses and trains. And once at work, harassment is common and there are other practical difficulties. One of the major things that we can do to increase women's participation in the workplace, actually going out to work, is to have um, uh, you know, baby minding facilities, have uh, privacy, have some bathrooms, just simple things like that. Until attitudes change, some Pakistani women might be prepared or have the opportunity to take on what is still very much a man's world. But most look set to remain firmly out of the workplace.